Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, next part in the finance crash course. Today we're going to talk about capital asset pricing model. When we're talking about the discounted cash flow analysis and also the weighted average of capital, we're going to talk about uh, the cost of equity as an input. Now, how do we find the cost of equity? One of the methods that are commonly used is the capital asset pricing model, also short for CAPM for short. Capital asset pricing model. Now, look, uh, essentially, I'll write down the formula first and then I'll explain it. It's the risk free rate plus the beta and then the risk premium. So, essentially, the risk free rate is for a risk free security what the overall, uh, what the risk free rate should be. So, essentially, if the security that you're buying is uh, riskless, the industry rate. The beta represents uh, how much it varies with the market. So for example, if the stock goes up 10%, then uh, the, I mean, sorry, the market goes up 10% and the beta is one, then it means that the stock also goes up 10%. And then this is the uh, return to the market portfolio. Uh, so essentially it's like as a market overall, how much is the market returning? And then uh, present the risk period again. So this uh, difference is known as the equity risk premium. So this is the equity risk premium. It represents uh, when you invest in an equity market, how much of uh, the equity premium you uh, demand in order to hold the market portfolio over the risk period rate. And essentially, uh, why is this used? It's used because it tends to be objective, uh, whereas other cup models are more complex, uh, they're a little bit harder to explain. So this is a little bit easier to explain that way. And the beta can be gotten uh, from several ways. As I mentioned earlier, the beta represents uh, how much it, the asset that you're evaluating varies with the uh, market. So one way to do that is do regression based on the correlations between the market and the uh, uh, asset being valued. And another way to do it would be uh, looking at uh, comparable companies. So say, for example, you're looking at laptop manufacturers, you look at other laptop manufacturers, and you have your lever and unlever the beta. And then uh, because of that, uh, you'll get the beta for this company based on its comparison to other companies. You might do some adjustments, or you might choose different companies that may be more aligned. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward uh, formula. Uh, just memorize that it's the risk free rate plus the beta multiplied by the equity risk premium. The equity risk premium is just the, uh, the excess return of the market portfolio over the risk free rate. And that's it. Thank you.